it's me Zeno. hello hi guys welcome back to my channel it's Sarah right here aka Zeno P I film about faith beauty lifestyle vlogs and education today I'm going to be teaching you how I edit my pictures or showing you rather I'm going to be showing you how I edit my pictures using airbrush yeah you can agree with me my pictures look airbrush uh, I do say so myself so some of the, sometimes I use just airbrush, sometimes I switch it up depending on what I'm going for. So I might use another app. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be showing you only airbrush. So if you want me to show you how I did my pictures, using maybe face into, maybe Snapseed, whatever app you want. I have a couple of apps on my phone that used to edit my pictures, but I just prefer to stick to airbrush because less is more, you know. And that's one of my favorite editing apps on my phone for my pictures. Before we get straight into it, do well to like this video, like already. And if you're not subscribed, why? Why aren't you subscribed? Please subscribe. It won't take more than a second. Oh, wait. One second gone. Subscribe. All right. Thank you for subscribing. So let's get straight into the video. So first thing you want to do is open up the app. Just like this. And after you open up the app, you open your library to select the picture you want to edit. So I just wait a while, just a bit for the picture to load. Nice. So this is the picture I want to edit. Let me zoom in and out. You can see a lot of imperfections. So the first thing I always do is apply this magic. So I'll go ahead to apply the magic. And let's watch the magic happen. So it has applied. You can see. This is before, after, before, after. I don't know if you notice a bit of a difference. Okay, so for the magic, I do smooth. I don't do the face width and chin because that's not my cup of tea. I'm not about to reduce my face. And nose, lip size, no. Acne, dark circles, contouring, eye fix. Now, I think I don't like how this eye fix look. I think it makes my eyes look too big. So I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, turn that off. Whiten, I have that on. I have brighten. I don't have the tint on. Let me see what the tint looks like. No much of a difference. So I can leave it. Skin tone, enlarge the eyes. No, I don't like this eyes. Reduce. So the enlargement is off now. Yeah, good. And if I want to slim my face a little, I'll just apply this so you can see how it sunk in my cheeks before, after. I don't like it, so turn it off. I'm okay with how my face looks. All right, so I just click on tick. And now let's start the real process. So I sometimes go back to whiting my background. And if I have my teeth peeking through, I might want to whiten that a bit. And also my eyes. So I'm starting with the eyes. I'm just going to zoom in a little. You don't want to over apply this so that it doesn't look too artificial. So I just do a bit of this, zoom in the other eyes. Sorry if this isn't what you like to see up close. So zoomed out. Look at the before, after, before, after. It makes a big of uh, makes a lot of difference. So next thing I want to do. It's still smoothing a little, so I don't want to over smoothen it because I want to still see it looking as natural as possible. So I'll just tap on it, just little, little like this. So I'm doing using the light brush, so tap, tap, tap on my nose, smoothing a little on my chin, and I'm going to run it through my chest. Let me increase the brush size. I'm going to run it through my chest yeah just like that and just randomly around the face now i think this is too much oh my gosh i think that's too much mm, let me undo so i just undid that okay and i think i'm good so next up what i want to do is whiting again my background sometimes i like to whiten it just to make it look brighter so i'm going to increase the brush size 
and whiten so you can leave this if your background is not white you can skip this but because i have a white background and i just want it to look brighter i just whiten so you can see difference huge huge difference but it altered my some of my background decor so i'll just clean them up so that i can see the actual color because i'm going to kind of tone down the background so that when i tone it down everything is still a bit vivid all right with that being done i tick so next thing is to add detail to part of my face i want to be more detailed so i'm going to add the detail to my lip you can see how that pops now i'm going to add the detail to my eyes so i rather detail my eyes than make it bigger i'm detailing my brow detailing my contour detailing my blush everything if you have jewelry on you can also detail it so i like how my hair looks on this side so i want to just detail it a bit so i think while applying that excuse me while applying that smoothener i over smoothing my hair so i'll just detail it so that it's not looking blur and detail my chest too so i take a bit of, yeah i think i like this now i like how it looks so this is nice let me detail my edges yeah so that my edges peek through it detail my parting and that's good i'm going to mark next stop <laughs> is to apply skin tone so i think this skin tone looks too dark too dark undo let me pick this one let me pick this one and see oh dark skin girl this is cute let me see how it was before oh so i can reduce the intensity i like that color i don't mind looking dark proud yeah yes this is cute <laughs> so i apply that on my neck apply that everywhere else yeah this is not bad this is even so let me erase if i messed up my hair or anything or my shirt if i applied it on it so let me just erase erase i think i'm good and i can take it so now let me, next stop i go back to the tools filter the tools and then what i do here is i relight so i just relight my face just make some places pop so i like to use the studio one you can see the difference that makes look at how it was dark see how it's light now so i just apply the real light there and i can reduce the intensity of it so before after before after it makes a whole lot of difference trust me guys and then i apply the bouquet just to reduce my background and make it a little bit blur so i always reduce this just blur it out the focus shouldn't be on the background because it's kind of busy it should be on you so i think this is okay and lastly i go to enhance this is where i sharpen because i've done a lot of editing so i want the image to be sharp again so i increase the sharpness you can see how it works before and now it's sharp i increase its um sharpness if i want to increase the saturation let me do a little bit of highlight a little bit of shadow you have to just look at it and you know this is how you will always apply the before and after i think it's looking too bright i think the highlight was not necessary why am i liking how it looked before than the after is it too sharpened what's that what did I apply? That is too much. I think the sharpness. Okay, yeah, I think the sharpness. I had an issue with it. And then contrast, saturation. Yeah, yeah, I love this. Some people do too much with the saturation, but I think it's okay. I don't want it to look too red. Let me tone it down a bit. This is this is perfect for me. 
this is perfect for me and i'm done so can we take a look at the before yeah and after wow before after oh my gosh what do you think guys do you want to try this is basically what i do with my airbrush i don't apply filters or makeup or hair i don't do none of that this is okay for me and i'm good back to tools let me see if there's anything i missed out on not really retouch no really smooth acne i don't i'm okay with those things on my face they're imperfection but i don't have a problem with them texture firm these are things you can always apply but i don't do all of this I'm okay so now let me just brighten up my eyes because it's more of a beauty look so the eyes should be a bit bright yeah i can see so i'm good before again after gosh this is not so much this is very minimalistic like it still looks natural all right thank you for watching guys and it's safe all right i hope you had a nice time watching up until this point if you did and you're not yet subscribed why not click the subscribe button like this video share with your friends especially those ones that have work looking pictures you don't need so much all you need is good lighting on your phone and a good editing app and you're good to go and your gram is looking gram is still on the stand you know what's saying so much thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the love and all my videos so far i'm trying to be consistent i'm trying you know making baby steps okay i'll see you in my next one bye guys you know